Hello everyone, it's Ron back uh, from Ron Brown's uh, YouTube channel here where we feature a, a lot of drone, uh, uh, you know, information here, drone videos, drone tech, and uh, today we're back with a, uh, a Mavic 3 video here. Um, now, I'm going to talk a lot about the Air 2S also, even in a Mavic 3 video, but what I'm trying to get to here is we got a big uh, January firmware update for the Mavic 3 where we got a lot of features added. You know, everything but the kitchen sink sort of got thrown in here now. But there is still a key thing missing for a lot of people out there that love to do um, HDR photography. Um, the Mavic 3 does not have, uh, you know, either the um, kind of the, I'll call it the HDR uh, photos or uh, video button that you see on a lot of drones. And it does not even have, quote, quote, real HDR. You have the HLG color profile where you know you can shoot an HLG and then edit it in a, a video editor like Final Cut or Premiere and uh, get true HDR video that you could see on say a big screen HDR TV. So um, I'm going to put them in here in the video here. I'm going to give you a screenshot of what uh, you know the the um, camera settings look like on the um, Air 2S versus the Mavic 3. And you can see the differences as far as the color profiles in the HLG. And um, now the uh, Air 2S has a feature called Smart Photo. It's one of the, when you open up the photo tab, it's one of the, the it's like uh, things on the left, the, the, the four, I think it's four different things you can pull down. And Smart Photo is one of them. And Smart Photo, you know, you know, I don't know quite the difference between Smart Photo and HDR photo on, on another drone. Um, but I think it does kind of the same thing. It kind of um, does extra editing in camera, like it maybe adds more contrast, uh, maybe a more saturation, maybe a little more sharpness, and kind of produces a kind of a ready-made social media type file to, to you know send right out there to all your users on social media, you on your Instagram, uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter accounts, and so on. So um, you know some people like it, some don't, but it's good that they have it in there for people who do like the... Uh, to get a nicely processed photo right out of the drone without taking into a you know an editor such as Lightroom, but but the Mavic uh, Three does not have even have the Smart Photo. Uh, a feature in it, and I think the Smart Photo was is also in the Mini Two. Uh, you know, I'm not, you know, it's, it's winter time. I haven't flown my Mini Two in a while. I think it may be in there too, or maybe it was in the Mavic Air 2 also. But uh, anyhow, but the Mavic 3 does not have any things such as smart photo or HDR photo. Um, I mean, you can, in, on photos, you can always kind of do it on your own. You could always just take the, um, a whole bracket, a whole bunch of photos, and create your own HDR photo in an editor like Lightroom or, or, or you know, or, or other such products like that or whatever. So you could do that manually on your own. So photos is no big deal, but video is because, um, you know, if you don't have the HLG color in there, which the Mavic 3 doesn't, but again, the Air 2S does have it. And, you know, I forget whether the Mavic Air 2, I mean, the Mavic 2 Pro had the HLG. It's been a while since I've flown that. I forget if it's in there or not. But it's definitely in the Air 2S, which, again, I will show you with a little, uh, you know, I will insert a little, uh, uh, you know, screenshot here of the, uh, where you find that in the Mavic Air 2's uh, uh, fly app. Uh, feature there so um back on to what i about uh, getting back on course again so uh without that you know with the, with the mavic 3 there's um kind of no way to do hdr video because you don't have the hlg you don't have a prefab hdr but like you saw on some other drones in, in the past um you know uh, i'm trying to think of one um you know, I forget the Air 2 Air Air 2 had it or not. And a lot of people say that, you know, you see a lot of that HDR stuff in the, you know, the quad bear sensor, the half inch sensor, which the Mavic Air 2 had. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know how true that is. You read that. I, I don't know if the quad bear is, is make sense or makes it more, um, you know, uh, compatible with HDR type of photos and videos. I, I don't know that because, again, the, um, 
The Air 2S has a full one-inch sensor and it has the HLG color profile in there to do your HDR. So yeah, I, you know, so my thing here is, well, you know, my speculation here, if the HLG's in, you know, the Mavic Air 2S, will it ever come to the uh, the Mavic 3? And I don't think the, um, you know, the micro, the micro four third sensor is a limitation because, um, you know, in, in your cameras like, you know, uh, uh, your Olympus and Panasonic Micro Four Thirds cameras, um, HLG is definitely in the in the uh, Panasonic GH5, which I own. And, um, you, know, uh, I, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I know, and I think both those cameras may have the HDR, um, the easy HDR photo button where you just click a little setting that says HDR and it takes an HDR photo. Uh, and, of course, you can... Get do all your brackets yourself, and um, you know stitch it together. You know in a photo editor such as again such as Lightroom or Photoshop. But I, I believe you know both the um, Olympus and Panasonic Micro Four Thirds cameras. You know have an easy HDR button where it's all automated and done in camera for you. So I, I don't think that would be a, a restriction. If they can do it, why can't the Mavic Three do it with um, the Micro Four Thirds sensor? So. Um, you know, this is kind of just a little, um, I hate to call it a rant video. I mean, it's not like I'm upset about it, uh, you know, because again, uh, not having HDR for photos is no big deal because you just, it, uh, Maverick 3 is brackets, you just do it on your own. But for video, it is kind of a big deal. So um, if you're into HDR uh, video, so uh, I just wanted to point that out. And, uh, you know, uh, so there is still a reason to keep flying your, um, your Air 2S. If you're into true HDR video where you want the HLG color uh, format and uh, you want to you edit that in Final Cut or Premiere and uh, create a really high resolution uh, uh, video for uh, your big screen, your 75 inch, uh, you know, 8K HDR TV, um, you know, this is still the, this is still your kind of only option in the consumer uh, drone line from uh, DJI. You know, and I again, I, I hate to say I don't, I don't remember because I just don't have enough time to pull these drones out. Look, or I'd never get a video made. You know, I don't, I don't think the Altel Evo Two Pro had the HLG, uh, and I know it has, I, but it does have a prefab HDR um, button where you can uh, just you know push a button for for video, and I, you know. I don't know if it's for photos, but I know in video you can hit HDR and get HDR, a prefab HDR video from the uh, from the Evo 2 Pro. I do not know about the newer Evos, uh, the Nano Plus or the Light series uh, of drone small tail, but definitely the uh, the Evo 2 Pro has the HDR video button. It's sorry, right? It's right to the um, you know the left of the uh, you know the record button, so you can toggle it on and off easily. Uh, before uh, you know, bef before uh, a flight. So um, anyhow, that's just kind of a roundup, uh, uh, you know, that of HDR uh, kind of what drones can do and whatever. It just kind of seems to be a little bit of a missing feature in a you know in a twenty you know tw I'm gonna call it twenty one ninety nine dollar drone. You think you would have some kind of uh, HDR capabilities uh, out of that drone for video? Again, I know people are gonna say. But the pictures I keep mentioning, you can, yeah, you can just bracket your pictures. You can do the HDR yourself and, and almost any drone that can do brackets. So we're mostly, we're mostly talking about video here, folks. So, uh, uh, you know, thank you uh, for, you know, any comments down below about you HDR pictures uh, uh, stitching together yourself. You're 100% correct in that. But uh, I said, this is mostly video centric. So um, I hope the, uh, you know, uh, DJI has some plans in the, in the future to add a uh, HDR video to the Mavic 3, either in the form of, uh, you know, a prefab HDR button where it does it all in, in camera for you. You know, you record your video in HDR, it spits it out on HDR in, on a memory card, and you're good to go. You're good to post up to Facebook or, or, or YouTube or any of the social media outlets, or uh, otherwise, uh, give us the HLG color profile uh, for the high-end guys, and we'll go into our your, your editors, and we'll uh, you know create our own HD, HLG content. Um, so um, yeah, I, I just hope again it's on the whiteboard there over at DJI headquarters. That would be kind of a big mess on this price to draw a big miss on this price to draw not to include 
HDR at, at, at some point in some fashion. So, okay, uh, that's it. I don't want to go on too long here. Kind of made my point here, hopefully. Uh, and, uh, you know, we'll see you on the next video. We're still doing a lot of coverage on the uh, Mavic 3. It's going to be a lot of Mavic 3 videos rolling out soon. So don't forget to, um, you know, to subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell notification button for the next time we, you know, pump out a Mavic 3 video. And if you got anything out of this video, give it the old thumbs up. And, and you know, if uh, any questions, comments, uh, uh, just leave them down below and I will get back to you. So everybody get out there and fly safe.